Welcome back to Ginger Sadie's Crafts. I'm Mercedes. If you like quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance hauls, thrift store flips, and some rescue puppies and randomness thrown in, then you're in the right place. So today's video, I have a haul of all the awesomeness that I found at my local thrift store. This is a between about three trips to the thrift store. I picked out my favorite items, so I wanted to share them with you to encourage you to maybe go check out your local thrift stores or even garage sales when you're looking for things for your home or for crafting with, because you can find some pretty awesome stuff there. So let me go ahead, I'll get started with this. So this is a metal star. It's a little dirty, but I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna spray paint it a nice crisp white. So once I paint these walls behind me gray, it'll look really pretty. And this was just $1.50. I also got, check this out, look at this, craft metal, so essentially it's chicken wire, yep, galvanized chicken wire, it sold for $7.99, but I only paid $3 for it, and it is a, like, look, look at how big that is, so $3, that is a huge steal, let's see if it tells me how much is in here, two feet by six feet for $3, how cool is that? Also, this is, oh my goodness, so this is one of my favorite finds. This entire container is full. It was $2, and it is full, let me see if I can open it, of alphabet letters, like tiles. So like W, what is that, T, so it's like every letter of the alphabet, and there's multiples of each letter for $2. I mean, how cool is that? What a great deal. I mean, really, come on. So let's see what else I got. Oh, so check out this awesome. So this was actually $24 at Pottery Barn and I paid $1.50 for it. I can't see, but look at this awesome candlestick. I think that'll be cool to make a stand or put it on my mantle. I also found this really cool like finial stand. It was $1.50 that I can actually just repurpose the back side. I don't even have to mess with the front if I don't want to. And then along those same lines, because I always like to look for solid wood pieces because they're, I think, are a good deal to find and they're hard to find. And I don't cut wood here because, like I said, y'all, if it involves a power tool or a saw, it's not for me. So I found some of these wooden blocks. They were 50 cents. So there's like three pieces here for 50 cents a piece that I'm going to repurpose. And then I also found, so Sammy at Unicorn Dust Designs made this really cool craft with a wooden block and like a finial top. And I found this for a dollar, already put together wooden block with finial top. It has a piece on the front, but I can just use the back to do whatever I want with it and put my own ribbon on there. And that was only a dollar, which I thought was a steal. And then I found this big wood piece for $2, which I'm going to paint. And this ribbon comes right off. So it's a nice big wood chunk piece that I can paint and do whatever I want with. And this piece was only $2. I also got this really cool craft embellishment arrow. It was $3.99 and I paid a dollar for it and it's a metal arrow and it's still like it's brand new in the tags like how cool is that and then I always look for like these little wooden signs to do inside and make my own little crafts with and this one was a dollar I found a couple of stamps so this one I got because my daughter loves dinosaurs this one was priced at $5.90 and I paid like I think a dollar for it or something like that. I think I paid a dollar for all of these stamps. And then I got this cute little snowman. And then this one that says happy birthday. I got this awesome lantern that I'm going to use on my front porch for two dollars. And it's a pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy lantern. It's not no cheapy Ikea lantern. It's a pretty sturdy lantern, so I'm pretty look I'm looking forward to using that. 
And then I got this really cool candlestick. Now, I'm not a silver girl, it's not my speed, but I thought I could paint it white and maybe put it on my mantle with like a grouping of a couple other candlesticks. I think it'll be really pretty. So I've been on the hunt, I've been looking a couple times a week. I'm trying to find some wooden candlesticks like this that I can paint white and put on my mantle. So hopefully I can find some more to go with just this one. Let's see what other crafting stuff I got here. Oh my goodness. So I also found this really cool wooden piece. Oh, so this candlestick, I'm going to tell you, was $2. Oh, my goodness. And it was at Ross for, like, $10.99. You can't see it. The light's too bright. But it was $10.99 at Ross, and I paid $2 for it. And then I found this wooden piece that was $1.50. And it has, like, it's nailed in. But I'm pretty sure I could just take that off and then put whatever I want here and then also paint it. I think I'm going to, like, whitewash it and make my own little sign. I think that'll be really cute. I found this is a sandwich board that I paid a dollar fifty for. If I can get it so it's like tied up, but it opens up to be a little sandwich board, which I think will be fun. It says like like this says like apple of my eye or something, but I could totally work over that. And then I found these like there were picture frames with like the little hook here that I can repurpose. I, th I thought I could maybe paint this and then I can maybe put a bow up here and I think it'd be cute because like I love to display like Christmas cards that I get like really pretty Christmas cards. Does anybody else like to keep like the super pretty Christmas cards? I feel so bad throwing them away. They're so pretty. So I thought this would be really cool to maybe paint and then put like some ribbon up here and then display like my favorite Christmas cards during the holiday season that I get because I think they're cool. So these were three. Wow. Three dollars, y'all. I didn't realize they were that much. But I got two of them. And then some of my favorite things that I got is I saw this really cool craft at... Where was I? I was in Atlanta, Georgia, visiting a friend of mine. And we went to Canton. She lives in Canton. And we went to, like, this mercantile exchange place that used to be an old, like, um, mill and then they turned it into like a craft booth area for people to sell their crafts. And I saw these really cool um, crafts with, um, that's what I'm looking for, like um, sheet music. Oh, wait, I was, it was coming to me. So it was like sheet music that they actually, it was really cool. So it was sheet music that they kind of put on metal. So like, I'm sorry, on wood. So they put sheet music like on a piece of wood like this. And then they put ribbon across and like they put a stamp on it. And it was really cool and really pretty. So I kind of want to recreate that here at home. So I found some books of music that I can tear out and craft with. So this one was a dollar. And then this one is like the book of hymns. It was $2. And it has the different sheet music on it. So I got a couple of those and then this one, oh my goodness y'all, this is so cool. So this was a dollar and it says Pennsylvania German Illuminated Manuscripts. And I thought this was so cool. Let me see if I can get to the pages here. Look at this guys. Look at how pretty that is. Like, it has all these cool things that I thought would be really cool to, like, craft with. To cut out these images and use for crafting, I think would be so pretty. Like, I just, I thought they were so cool. So, like, you know, if you see cool stuff, like books with really cool pictures and images, grab them up. Grab them up and craft with them. I mean, they're so cool to use and make, oh, like, look at these, to cut out and craft with. I mean, how cool is that? So I thought that was really cool to use. So I'm looking forward to crafting with these. So yeah, so they're all of my finds or the cool finds. 
Let me know what your favorite item was that I found at my local thrift store. Let me know. Do you guys hit up thrift stores? Do you guys hit up garage sales? Because now that it's getting warmer here in northern Utah, there are garage sales like every weekend. So I've been kind of going out and maybe checking out a garage sale or two to see what I find. And also let me know, what do you look for if you go to the thrift store or the garage sales? Are there certain things that you're always like on the hunt for, things that you repurpose, or maybe you're a reseller? Because when I go to the thrift store, it opens at 10, a little story time here. It opens at 10 and people get there like 15 minutes early and get in line because a lot of them are resellers. They go in right away. They always run to the back where there's like these um, glass cabinets and they always look for stuff to resell. And then they also cruise the aisles. So you have to get there early because people be snatching up stuff at the thrift store for resale. Like, oh my goodness. Like, that's a thing. I never thought of that. I just thought, you know, thrift store, you know, home decor, clothes, crafting stuff. I, I never thought about reselling, but apparently it's it's a big deal around these parts. People definitely get into the whole reselling business. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, come on, subscribe to my channel. Give this girl a thumbs up. It really helps me out because when I get to 400 subscribers, which I believe I'm only like 42 away from, I'm doing a pretty huge giveaway. If you want to see awesome things that's in my giveaway that's going to be coming up, Check out my last video. I did a sneak peek of a really cool item that was gifted to me from a friend of mine that has some pretty cool stuff in it that's going to be in the 400 subscriber giveaway. And share. Help me get to 400 subscribers so I can give you guys some goodies to say thank you for watching my channel. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you have a marvelous day. I will catch you guys, I believe, on Saturday because I'm going to try to post on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So come back on Saturday to join me for a crafting haul. And until then, have a great day. Goodbye.